Hello everyone and welcome back to another video with your girl Nat. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I make these double chocolate fudge brownie pies. So get your pen and paper ready or you can cook along with me. So please hit that like on your way in and if you're new here, thank you. And if there's some content that you like, why don't you subscribe and join the family? So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing we're going to do is mix our dry ingredients. We're going to be using one and a half cups of granulated sugar. And I like to use a sifter because it helped me like combine everything evenly and get all the lumps and clumps out. We want our batter to be as smooth as possible. Next, we'll be using 3 4 cups of all-purpose flour. Two third cups of cocoa powder. Now we're using a half a cup of powdered sugar. So now we're gonna sift everything together. Now we're gonna use three four tablespoons of salt and a half a cup of dark chocolate chips. Now we're gonna give our dry ingredients a good mix to make sure everything is well incorporated. Now for our wet ingredients, we're going to be using two large eggs, a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of lukewarm water. Now we're going to give everything a good mix with our hand mixer. Now we're going to sprinkle the dry mix over our wet mix and stir until combined. So now while we got our oven on 325, I'm gonna go ahead and fill my 10 containers. And you guys, you guys can get these from Amazon. I will leave the link down below where I got these from. But these are great for like parties and events and stuff like that. So if you're trying to have little finger foods, I recommend you get in these. Now we're gonna place these in the oven for about 25 minutes and I'll be right back to y'all. So these are the brownies right out of the oven and I already took the liberty to go ahead and make some little divots inside of the, of the pan so I can add ice cream on top. Now I like to top mine off with some whipped cream. Now 
Now I'm going to finish them off with some sliced almonds. And you could top it off with whatever you like. But we like to keep it simple. And my kids don't need too much sweets anyway. So... Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video with your girl, Nat. This has been a pleasure being here with you guys. Until next time, peace.